YouTube. Hey, everybody. You guys know who it is. It's Q. And you know how I do when I'm eating with you. <laughs> yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Q Food Reviews. And like I always do, faithfully, constantly, and consistently, let me start off by saying thank you to my subscribers. I most definitely want to say thank you to all the new ones as well. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. And welcome to the team, my baby. Woo, Q Nation. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. Tell me everybody ain't feeling good right about now. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Boy, I know you guys had to have saw the election. Oh, it brought people to tears, boy. But, ladies and gentlemen, it was a change that was well overdue. I'm happy to see our nation and the mass majority of our Americans happy. It brought me to tears to see that emotion on so many people. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, listen to me. Our pandemic and crisis that we're going through is enough already as it is. So electing a new president, if that was what uplifted people's spirits, hey, I'm all for it, okay? I'm all for it. Ladies and gentlemen, listen to me. I'm going to bring you guys a quick little beverage review, okay? Because you know how I do when you're kicking it with Q. But listen to me, ladies and gentlemen. Before I get into this beverage review, okay, I need to answer a couple of my subscribers' questions, okay? Actually, one of them I already did, but let me confirm it, all right, so they can make sure they have a full understanding of this, okay? The first one asked me this. Actually, they both want to know how do they go about starting their own YouTube channels. And let me get ready to tell you how you go about doing that, okay? The best advice that I would give you, and my Uncle Melvin, if you're watching, okay, let me share some things with you too if you're watching Uncle Melvin, okay, because you asked about the same thing, all right? What I would suggest you guys do, okay, is go to Google, type in YouTube, how do I start a YouTube channel? You're going to have a variety of videos to select from, okay? Choose one of those videos, watch it. Observe as much information as you can from it, okay, and go about executing, all right? Same thing for you, Unc, okay? Type in how do you start a YouTube channel, select one of those videos, and get as much information as you can. Actually, watch one or two, because that's what I did, okay? I watched a few of them. I did my research before I started my channel, okay? And uh, these videos will help you. They will give you information on what to do how to do it, and things like that, okay? So that's exactly what I suggest you both do. You and my uncle, Uncle Melvin, if you're watching, go ahead and do that, okay? Type in how to start a YouTube channel, select one of those videos, and they can give you as much information as you possibly can, okay? Now, here's the next piece of advice that I'm going to give you, okay? When you're starting this channel, do what makes you happy. That's the best advice right there that I can give you, okay? What do I mean by when I say that? A lot of YouTubers start channels and don't finish, okay? Obviously, somewhere along the line, they wasn't satisfied with their content, and neither was their subscribers. So a lot of times, most people would do what you call quit, okay? I done seen YouTubers do this, but I never done it, okay? I love Q Nation. I love my squad. That's not an option for me. So to keep you going longevity wise because you're going to have bumps in the roads okay you're going to have days where you want to quit you're going to have days where you're feeling discouraged but i'm here to tell you this keep it moving keep it pushing okay don't give up and quit that's the easy part all right now listen to me the reason why i ask you to do something that you love is because like my uncle melvin he want to start his own cooking channel okay my uncle melvin loves to cook so a lot of his content is going to based on him cooking food like me a lot of my content is based on my food reviews okay as you can see the love and the passion that we got runs in the family you know what i'm saying good morning bro how you doing mm -hmm. so you know that runs in the family and uh listen just again do what makes you happy and uh at the end of the day And at the end of the day, you're satisfied with what you're doing. You know what I mean? You're not living with regrets. You're not living with sorrow. So let me use me an example. 
If you wonder how was I able to do food reviews for three years consistently, it's because I enjoy what I do. What I do makes me happy. Food is my passion. All right, do I sit around and stuff my face in every video? No, I don't. But it's my passion, all right? It's what makes me happy. And I was able to generate an audience that was able to relate to me and my passion. You follow me on where I'm coming from? Let me ask you a question and watch this. Facts. At the end of the day, we all have to do what? I'm going to give you a minute and I'm going to wait. <laughs> we all have to do what? We all got to eat, don't we? Ah, yeah, you got to eat in order to live. So, therefore, food. Yeah, who don't love food, my guy? So, listen to me. Another thing I want you to realize, too. Food is forever, bro. The gossip not forever. The drama don't last. Food is forever. God put me in a lane that I'm a last. You follow me on where I'm coming from, my guy? So, listen to me. Whatever your passion is, maybe it's music, video, gaming, Whatever it is, just make sure you're doing what makes you happy. And that'll help make it easier for you to do YouTube, okay? Trust me when I tell you that. A couple more other things. I'm not going to discourage you, but it's facts. You're going to have individuals that once you gain success, notoriety, and popularity within YouTube, you're going to have jealous individuals, okay? These individuals will go so far as being jealous towards you where they even start making videos about you. But listen to me. I'm here to tell you this. Don't let it discourage you. Nah, uh-uh. Because listen to me. If you don't have haters, then you ain't doing something right. <laughs> okay? So listen. I'm just telling you and sharing with you what comes along with this. All right? You have to have thick skin in order to do YouTube. Trust and believe me when I tell you that. You have trolls that will attack you. You have jealous individuals that will come to you and say cruel, mean things to you. But at the end of the day, you cannot let it discourage you. All right? Keep it moving. Keep it pushing. And just take the bitter with the sweet. Okay? Same thing for you, Uncle Melvin. You know what I'm saying? You might have cats come over telling you your food look nasty. It may look disgusting. But at the end of the day, Uncle Melvin, you know you know how to throw down, all right? You know your food is good. So that's all that matter, huh? okay? So don't pay them haters no mind. And there's options that you have to go about dealing with them people. As you guys start your channels, okay, you and Uncle, keep in touch with me. All right? If there's any information or anything that I can help you with, let me know, okay? And I got you, my guy, okay? Same thing for you, Unc, all right? Any questions you have for me, let me know, Unc. And I got you. Nephew got you, my baby, okay? Now, with no further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get into my review, ladies and gentlemen. Q-Nation, can I share something with you? That's why I'm here. You follow me? I'm not your average food reviewer. I reply back to my subscribers, okay? When they ask me questions, I answer them, okay? You follow me on where I'm coming from, ladies and gentlemen? Without them, there is no me, okay, Q Nation? Without my subscribers, there is no me. That's what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. That's what it's all about. Now, let's go ahead and get in this review, shall we? <laughs> guys, look, uh, Starbucks and dropped something new on this boy, and you guys know I'm a coffee lover, but this was requested, okay? They said, Q... You got to come with some Starbucks Frappuccinos and they breakfast sandwiches. So today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just going to bring you a quick review of one of their Frappuccinos, okay? This was uh, brought, when was this, a couple of days ago, brand new, and there's options, okay? And then later on this week, I'm going to go to Starbucks and pick up a breakfast sandwich, and I'm going to review that for you too, okay? I never uh, had one of their breakfast sandwiches. It's been quite a while now, okay? And because of the pandemic, I haven't been in a lot of restaurants, period, okay? I've been at home cooking fresh home-cooked meals, staying safe, all right? As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, okay? So listen, let me show you guys what I'm working with, okay? This is brand new from Starbucks. Q Nation. This is from Starbucks, and it's called Starbucks Frappuccino, and this is their chill coffee drink, okay? This flavor is their brown butter caramel. Look at this, YouTube. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Gotta love it, baby. Gotta love it. Starbucks, nothing but the best. You know what I'm saying? Nothing but the best. If you're going to drink some coffee, drink the best, all right? You best believe it. Let me give you some nutrition facts on this, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to give you my thoughts and opinion. I'm going to let you know what I think about it, all right? Y'all already know I love me some coffee, so... Hey, we already got this halfway beat. <laughs> okay. Right off the rip, ladies and gentlemen, we're looking at 290 calories, okay? 
uh, cholesterol is 20 milligrams, sodium is 230, and uh, as far as I'm concerned, that ain't that bad, alright? Now listen, ladies and gentlemen, this is a chill drink, okay? So what I suggest, you go ahead and let it get a little cold before you drink it, yes I do, alright? So I'm going to pop the top, and uh, give you guys my thoughts and opinion, I'm going to let you know what I think about it, alright? YouTube. With the aroma alone, okay, you already know how coffee smell, right? You get that. But you also smell the brown butter caramel. I guess that's the flavor that's within it. Because that's what it smells like. Like a toffee. Like a toffee type of aroma to it. Q Nation. I'm curious. I want to know what it tastes like. Let's get it. you listen to me ladies and gentlemen right off the bat yes Q Nation I like it oh it's smooth it's so creamy Q Nation if you guys are familiar with Nestle quick chocolate milk right it tastes somewhat similar to that but a coffee version of it ladies and gentlemen right off the rip you get the texture of the coffee but you also get that texture of the brown butter caramel okay that's what give it the sweetness you know what I mean Mm. Yeah, I like that, you too? Yeah, I like that, Q Nation. You get the coffee flavor all day, every day. And that's the plus, okay? But then they make it likable for you when they add the brown butter caramel flavor texture to it. Oh, my God. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I like it. From a scale of one to five, what would I give it? Mm. You too. Starbucks. I'm going to give y'all a five. Y'all got my attention. All right. It's smooth. I like it. It's creamy. Would I suggest you guys pick it up, give it a try, and let me know what you think? Yes, I do. Okay. This is brand new from Starbucks, ladies and gentlemen. And this is their brown butter caramel flavor. Okay. Now, Q Nation. I already know what you guys thinking. Q, what if I don't like this in particular flavor? Well, there's options. And let me show you. Wait a second, Q Nation. Okay? There's always options, ladies and gentlemen. Q Nation. Here's their standard. Okay? Frappuccino. As you can see, I told you there's options, okay? So if you don't like the new flavor, you can always buy the standard one too, okay? So let me let you guys take a look at them both, okay? They're glass... So I got to be careful, okay? Because they're glass bottles. Let me be real careful. Here they go, YouTube. Ha <laughs> ha! Here's the new one, all right? Which is the splash of cold brew. And here's the standard regular one, all right? Look at that thumbnail. Oh, yeah. Ha <laughs> It's me and YouTube in the thumbnail, y'all. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at that. Yes, sir, baby. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah. Me and YouTube getting a little thumbnail, y'all. I'm just having some fun with y'all. Come on, y'all. Y'all know how I do. So, again... If you don't want this one, you can always pick up this one, okay? There's options, ladies and gentlemen, all right? There's options, okay? Oh, Q Nation. Yeah! Come on, y'all. <laughs> Let's get them spirits up, y'all. Come on, y'all. Nah, we got a new president. Hey, come on, y'all. Come on. Come on, Q Nation. Let's get the spirits up, y'all. Come on. It can always be worse, ladies and gentlemen. Nah, come on, now. Nah. It can always be worse, ladies and gentlemen. Q Nation, listen to me, y'all. Uh, I'm getting ready to let you guys get out of here, okay? I want you guys to stay safe, stay clean, stay sanitized. Enjoy this week. It's going to be a long week. It done got cold now. So, again, when you step out to pick up your essentials, wear your face mask and everything. And uh, listen to me. Uh, and my subscriber, you know who you are. I don't have to mention your name. Go ahead and start your channels. Okay, get them up. That's the main thing. First, you want to get that started first. Okay, go and get them channels up. 
and just take it one day at a time, okay? That's the best advice that I can give y'all, all right? I wanted to let y'all know that before I end this video. Let me encourage you with something before I let you go, okay? I'm getting ready to get out of here. My first video was Beijing, China. This was three years ago, okay? Go to my archives and check it out. I was so nervous when I first did that video, but what gave me the motivation from that point on was this. I'll never forget it. It was one old lady. May God bless her soul. May her soul rest in peace. Her name was Mama Mosley. When she saw this video, it went from Mama Mosley to other church members, and my channel grew into something beautiful, my guy. I started out with zero views and zero subscribers. Within a three-year time frame, I'm pushing almost 3,000K subscribers now worldwide. God is good. And let me tell you some of the other blessings that can come along with this if your channel is successful. Let me share this with you and I'm going to let you go. Hopefully this will motivate you, my guy. This also what comes with you. When God gives you favor with people, when they like you, your subscribers will tell you this. Hey, listen here. I want you to go start you a Patreon page so I can donate to your channel and help support you. I guess sir. I guess sir. Ha-ha! <laughs> They'll also tell you this. They'll fall so in love with you, they'll say, baby, go start you a P.O. box so I can send you some gifts. Yep. And last but not least, they'll tell you when they want this to happen for you. Put ads on your videos so you can get paid. All of that is God, my guy. When your subscribers tell you to do things like that, it's because they want to see you blessed. You follow me and where I'm coming from. So again, hopefully all of that is enough to motivate you to get the channel up, to start it going because there's benefits with YouTube. You follow me on where I'm coming from. And if your subscribers take a liking to you and if you respect them and do right by them, they'll reward you, my guy. All right? Trust and believe me when I tell you that, man. Trust and believe me when I tell you that, okay? So again, go ahead, get it started, all right? And I'm giving you my words of encouragement, okay? And I'm sharing my personal experiences with you. Is every day going to be peaches and cream? No, it's not. You got to learn how to take the bitter with the sweet. It's been quite a journey for me already. I had my good times and my bad times too. But for the most part, just don't give up. Don't get discouraged and don't quit. And just be careful of the doors that you open up for certain subscribers, especially people, kids. Oh, they the worst ones. But listen to me. I just had a couple of bad apples. Not all because I have a kid following as well, okay? You just got to be able to pick out the bad apples just like with people, all right? So, again, when these people give you problems with your channel, there's options for that too, okay? So don't get discouraged, all right? Get the channel up. Keep in contact with me, and we're going to go, all right? We're going to go. One day at a time, and we're going to take it from there, okay? So hopefully I was able to uplift you and encourage you and my uncle to get y'all channels up and get you guys going, get that ball moving in some way or another, all right? So listen, I'm getting ready to let you get out, get out of here, okay? I got to go. Q Nation, to you all, okay? Thank you all so much for subscribing. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate all you guys' support. Can you guys do me a favor before you go? Q Nation, hit that like button, y'all. Come on, hit that like button. Share my content and ask them to subscribe and join the team and the family. Thank you. God bless and peace. Q Nation, I love all of y'all, all right? I love all of y'all. Come on, y'all. We gonna make it, Q Nation. We done made it this far. We a strong, powerful nation, okay? And time should have shown and proven you that. <laughs> all right, Q Nation. We ain't going nowhere. We here. We ain't going nowhere. Thank you. God bless and peace. I love y'all, YouTube. I love y'all. Peace.